Hey everybody, this is Prime for Team Hutchins. Uh, we just got through last week going to Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, and even other parts around there to the P uh, Petersburg uh, battlefield. Uh, one of the things we went up there to do is, I hate to say it, was get coffee. Now, I myself love coffee, and Danielle loves coffee, and one of the things we do have it's a little bit of stock in what used to be Tim Hortons. Uh, now it's, it merged with Burger King and it's called Restaurant Brands International. Now, not a gigantic, gigantic sorry, investor, so I'm not telling y'all to go out and buy it. But, I gotta tell you how pursuit of a cup of coffee almost put us in military prison. So, we were sitting there on Thursday and decided to go up and get some coffee. Well, we had done a search on him, TimHortons.com and seen that at Norfolk there was a Tim Hortons. The closest Tim Hortons where we live in North Carolina is a little over three hours away in Overton or Nitro, West Virginia. We have been to that one uh, last year. Or actually 2019 before the pandemic hit. So, we was already in Williamsburg, and we decided to go ahead and hit the car and drive to Norfolk. Sorry, that was Kyle. Uh, so, one of the things we ran into was, on you know, Interstate 64, was the water tunnel. It's very cool. You go out over the bridge, and you go down under the water, and out the other side. Well, Danielle was my GPS girl, and so she was telling me, turn here, turn here, turn here. And the last thing she said, turn right 500 yards, and the Tim Hortons is up on the side. And so I looked, I said, uh, Danielle, we can't go that way. She said, oh yeah, that's right here, Tim Hortons is right here. And so I turned right, and I turned into a parking lot, I said, hon, we can't go there. And she looked out the window, she said, right there is Tim Hortons, I see the building. And you showed up, you could see Tim Hortons right there. I said, but honey, turn your head a little bit, and you'll see a guy who could probably whoop Lou Ferrigno's butt in a brown outfit toting the M16. And another guy about the same size as him at a gate, and we had driven up all the way up to the gatehouse itself. Well, so I sat there a few minutes, deciding how to do this, because there's only one way in, one way out. And they're starting to look at us. So, I said, well... Let's go and talk to these fine gentlemen. So I drove up over there to the gatehouse, and the one gentleman put to the door and said, Can I help you, sir? I said, Sir, I came out this morning looking for a cup of coffee from Tim Hortons. I follow my GPS, and I believe I'm in the wrong spot. He said, Yes, sir, you are. I said, I see Tim Hortons over there, and I believe it's on the side of your military base. And I think my odds of getting some Tim Hortons coffee just went down significantly. He said, you're right, sir. I said, okay, how can we resolve this without me going to jail? He, he kind of grinned, just a little grin. He said, hold on, sir. So he got a military policeman out of the building. And so he come out, and I explained to him what happened. And he kind of lied. He said, you're the fifth person today who has come here wanting Tim Horton's coffee or the Five Guys Burger, both of which are on the base. I said, so again, how can we resolve this without me going to jail? And he said, so you'll give your driver's license to the other gentleman. He will stop traffic behind our gate and allow you to come on our base, come off our base, and he'll give your driver's license back. I said, okay. I said, sir, absolutely. So we went on there, got a little driver's license, and got the heck out of Dodge. And that, my friends, is how pursuit of the perfect cup of coffee almost put Team Hutchins in military prison. If you like us, share us, tell your friends about us. We'll have more videos coming up. Hopefully one day we'll get back to cruising. Have a good night, people.